Johnson and the Health Secretary Matt Hancock have both tested positive for coronavirus. I've developed mild symptoms of the coronavirus, that's to say a temperature and a persistent cough. And on the advice of the Chief Medical Officer, I've taken a test that has come out positive. So I am working from home, I'm self-isolating. Later in the hour on the BBC News channel, we'll have all the latest reports, results, interviews and features from the BBC Sports Centre. One of the biggest tasks in fighting coronavirus is keeping the nation fed. Food manufacturers have been cranking up production and working round the clock to keep up with increased demand. Allenson's flour mill in Hertfordshire is now producing an extra 400,000 bags of flour every week, an increase of 50%. Mm. Emma Simpson has been to meet some of the workers. My name's Matt Lumpton, I'm the site manager. My name's Katie Daigle, I work as operations manager. We make flour and it goes out to the supermarkets. We are just sending out as much stock as we possibly can. Our lines are running every shift available. So far this morning we've dispatched 140 tonnes to customer. Our teams are working all hours to put flour into bags to go out to the supermarkets and to the British public. We may not be saving lives in hospitals, but I think everybody here knows the impact that they're making. It's one of the basic products, flour, and it's in big demand. We weren't allowed in to protect the workers, so they filmed themselves on the food front line. Everyone's digging in, helping out, and seeing what we can do to get that food out to the customers. Those customers have been panic buying, as well as cooking and baking stuck at home. Some workers have even postponed retirement. We're feeding the nation. What we produce here is keeping the country going. If I left now while we're in, you know, the country's in this situation, I would feel I'd left, I'd left behind a family that needed a mother. <laughs> we're now restricting access to one person at a time. All our food manufacturers are desperately trying to keep staff safe and fit for work. So can the industry cope? Food industry is coping. It's stretched, there's no doubt about that. We and other manufacturers are running uh, flat out. We will keep doing that. We're making every provision to keep that volume going. If we manage this sensibly and in a calm and even way, flour will remain on the shelves in these difficult times, it's about keeping the lorries loaded from the mill to the meal. The whole food industry is in overdrive, ensuring communities are fed. Emma Simpson, BBC News, Bishop Stortford. Now, anyone buying or selling a property has been urged by the government to delay completion, even if that's meant to be happening.